up, everybody? This is D. Joseph Allen, and um, hey, Firefly, what's up? This is this video is directed to you, and it's in response to your video, Mexican illegal aliens go back home, something like that. Um, Firefly, I like you, but I think you, you just completely missed the mark with this video that you just you just posted. Um, first of all, uh, I mean. Just by watching your video, it seems like what you're doing is you're saying, well, all illegal aliens, all Mexican illegal aliens are drug dealers. You know, I mean, there's no, there's no really any more substance or depth to your, to your video. But really what I, what, what's interesting to me is that you guys over in the States, you're Americans, I mean, and, and, and you have every right to want to protect your country and to disagree with, with the immigration policies. But let me give you my perspective. I'm, I'm Mexican, okay? And uh, this is a, some things that a lot of you Americans really don't understand. I lived in the States for two years working there, okay? Now here's the thing. If you want to work in the States, you need to have a work visa. But if you want to have a work visa, you have to have work. Am I explaining myself? If you're already in the States and you want to get a job, you cannot. You have to come back to your country and apply for a work visa. But how do you get a work visa? If you're already hired by somebody, somebody has to give you a job before they will give you a work visa. And they won't give you a work visa until you have a job. So. It's, it's really, it's weird. I mean, I know it, it's, it's not as weird as it sounds. What you, what you need is you need to be, um, oh, what's the damn word? You need to be sponsored. Um, you know, I did this video especially because of a comment that you left on your own comment section that said that something to the, to the effect that they should go back and come back legally. So this is, this is I'll, I'll tell you about my, my specific case. Um, through a friend of, of my father's, um, I got in touch with somebody who owned a recording studio and we talked and uh, eventually he said, fine, I will, uh, I will sponsor you. So um, he sponsored me and, um, and, I, and, and, and I got what, what is called an H-1B visa to go over to the States and work. Now. I don't know if you're aware of this, but it is extremely expensive to get these visas. You have to get lawyers, you have to pay fraud, uh, fraud protection fees. I mean, the amount of money that, that, that it costs to actually do this, 90% uh, of Mexican people just don't have it. Well, I don't know if 90, but you know, we are a pretty poor country, so it, it, it's, a, it's a very large amount of money and a lot of people can't earn can't even hope to get this amount of money. So when you say that Mexicans should go over legally, you're completely misunderstanding how difficult, practically impossible it is for a Mexican to get a legal visa to go over there. Now, this is, this is my case. And I'm a well-to-do person here in Mexico City, you know, I have I, 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 I have a, a relatively good economic situation and even I couldn't, couldn't get that visa until I finally got it and then I mean there's another part of the story where uh, I interviewed for Apple computer and I got hired but um, I, couldn't, I couldn't take the job because your government instead of saying okay Alan you already have an H-1B visa and uh, you're working here and we can see you have a social security number and you, you pay taxes and you stay out of trouble and you don't, um, you know, you do everything by the book. Instead of just saying, you know, maybe we'll just open an annex and say, he's got this H-1B visa right here and he works, uh, you know, as a multimedia consultant uh, for this recording studio. Now we're gonna annex this Apple job over here and now he's got two part-time jobs uh, with the same H-1B visa. That's not what they do. They require you to go back, they require you to go back to your country, process another H-1B visa for the, this separate job, 
and then you're you're allowed to come back. And of course, Apple wasn't uh, willing to to sponsor me, so I had to let the job go. But that's just an example of how complicated it can get to actually you know make a living over there when you don't have a green card or, or when you're not a citizen. Now, aside from that, Firefly, I also don't think you understand how easy it would actually be for your government to, to capture these uh, illegal uh, aliens that you talk about. Because I don't know if you're aware that a lot of these illegal uh, aliens uh, actually have social security numbers. And these social security numbers are duplicates, they're illegal. However, the IRS isn't going to say no to it to a little extra money. Uh, all that, 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 that Homeland Security would have to do is just ask the IRS to open up their records, check the duplicate numbers, and they could go find the people that are using these duplicate illegal social security numbers. But they don't do it because it's extra money for them. So I think you're really, really, really oversimplifying things. Um, I don't think this is, this is the, the quality of video that uh, a lot of us have come to expect. So I'm just trying to give you a little bit of insight for you to understand how hard it is to actually go over to the United States legally and why these people have no other choice than to try to go over illegally. They just can't afford it and the process is not made for Mexicans to be able to, to go over to the States. Your government doesn't want us there. You know, they don't want immigrants taking Americans' jobs, and that's understandable to a point. However, um, it's a lot more complicated, and maybe you should uh, try to do a little bit more research on this, you know, for, for, for further in, enlightenment or enrichment or whatever. I'm, I'm rambling. You know what? I guess I said all I wanted to say. Thanks, everybody, for watching, and uh, peace.